Wait, let's go. Wow, I love it when the races start like this. Okay, when we uh, talk about today then, I think, I think it's a breakaway day, so you're gonna see quite a big fight for the break. Roman will have a look when the group goes bigger. When he can slide in a little bit unnoticed and just chip into the break, then also we will do that. But again, not directly in the start. Got to prepare for a hard start mentally so that we can be directly in the game. Like Roman said, when you line up at the back today, you're gonna be in the back at kilometer zero. So you have to take your spot a little bit earlier today. Let's get stuck in today. Let's start yep. the second week in a really good way. Second week, let's go. Twenty-two riders. Twenty-two riders, including Roman, Vinigard, and Pogachar. Twenty-two leaders. Don't do too much in here, Roman. There'll be an immediate reaction. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. Wow, oh, I love it when the races start like this. <laughs> Mint, just like. <laughs> okay, guys, get around no more now. Get around no more. Stay super calm, Roman. Stay super calm in here. Our focus now, boys, is just to come through today in a good way. Done a really good job, really good job, great teamwork. Now we just focus on coming through the stage in a good way, guys. That's hot. Was this another day in paradise? Um, no. Well, definitely not. If I was at the beach, with a mojito in the sun, could be in a day in paradise, but that was that wasn't. So, so it wasn't. It was all right though. I mean, it was pretty hard to start, eh? Yeah. I want it to meet as quickly as possible, especially after today. Because yeah, I think to start with today was uh, could quite easily have been a really good day when uh, Roman was in that breakaway group. Um, I think we have to try. We have to try moving up the GC somehow. We know that directly on big mountains it's not going to move up so much. Um, and when we want to go for a top six, you've got to make a little bit of a gamble sometimes. So I think it was good that we went. Yeah, and when Roman was getting caught by the peloton, um, I think he, he was cooked uh, from the effort. Um, gone really deep in the red and just needed that kind of five minutes just to take a breath, get recomposed, but when the peloton still went full gas, then you're quickly in the second, you're in the third group before you know it. Um, but yeah, he definitely overcooked himself, I think, in that jumping, which was uh, one of those things. When it goes the other way, like Bill Bow was just behind him on GC, 30 seconds behind, they let him go in the break, and now he's jumped up four places. That could easy have been us today. So it could have been a successful day. He also won the stage. It could also have been a disaster when uh, Roman kind of went up at this but you have to gamble to win sometimes, so yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah. Obviously the plan today is we bring Roman as fresh as possible and as long as possible in the race. We, uh, we came in a, situa a tactical situation yesterday where once again, Roman's not allowed to go in the break because Jumbo deemed that the seven minutes behind he is, is is too close. But then again, we lose a spot on GC because guys behind, just behind are allowed to go in the break. Today, I think Jumbo will not race for victory. When uh, it comes from the GC group, 
then UAE will, will have to ride for it, or Ineos. But it, I, I think UAE are the team that will have to ride for it. Jumbo will want to give away the time bonuses and the, the racing for the stage. They'll be scared of Pogachar. They won't want Pogachar to beat him in a sprint because then he gets another four, ten seconds on him, whatever. So they're not going to ride for, for the win. Coming into the final climb, we bring Roman in a good position into climb towards the front. Hey guys, you've got 8k to the start of the last climb. 8k to the start of the last climb. I saw a naked guy, which I, I didn't need to see. Yeah. I would say there has been better days. Tour is already uh, super, yeah, the hardest uh, competition you can find. And when you don't feel 100% uh, and you and your health is not 100% of your side and you feel, uh, yeah, awake and yeah, it's really hard to to exist on the race and to be where you expect to be. So yeah, it's uh, it has been yeah some some hard moments to to get through. I hope I can recover and I I feel 100% healthy. But yeah, I'm really. Also motivated to also reward the team, the atmosphere we have here with some some aggressive racing. So this is really my hope to be able to do that in the in the coming days because yeah, obviously it hasn't been the first uh, 13 days we were hoping for. So quite some setbacks and yeah. Hopefully uh, we'll feel better soon to, to bounce back and I can be on the, on the attack soon. situation continue now continue again let's try and come back together go forward into the peloton
you in a lot of pain? Do you remember what happened? I remember. I remember entering the corner, but I don't remember how I crashed. You, you also don't remember how you crashed. What happened? Or was it was the road just greasy, or what was it? Yeah, man, I've I have no idea what happened. I was uh, I was pretty close to the front. Um, I didn't hear anything, but I think it was the crash was was pretty far out the bunch. And um, like five minutes before the rollout, it just started like just bucketing down with rain out of nowhere. So I think yeah, because it's been so dry and so hot, you just get a, a quick shower and there's a lot of dust and stuff on the road, and it becomes quite slippery. Also, oh, yeah. moments. Poor guy. I just feel, I'm just kind of there. Yeah, I think uh, we all know the situation with uh, Ramon. Crash today, uh, quite high speed in the descent. He wanted to continue, see how it went. Um, but the doctor on the Tour de France was, yeah, from what I could understand when she was speaking French to Ramon, she was advising him not to. Uh, Roman still wanted to continue there, but when we stood him up and he was kind of a little bit wobbly, I, I also just said to him, like, Roman, I think it's not smart but when you crash in the next descent because you're not seeing or feeling things in a good way, then also you've got to think about the bigger picture here. Uh, yeah, um, the decision to take Roman out of the race was 100% the, the, the right one. Uh, I spoke to some of the riders who were with him uh, just after the crash and uh, they, uh, they said he yeah, really wasn't there. He was just like uh, groggy, didn't really respond on any questions. Um, I also talked to the uh, to the uh, race doctor, Florence, and she also told me the same. Uh, when he arrived at the bus, I uh, did a quick examination and uh, yeah, it was pretty clear he had a concussion. We still have seven stages to fight for, uh, seven opportunities, S six of which we can really be in the race, take the time trial out where Probably a little bit beyond our limits to get a victory there, but there's still six good chances where you never know what can happen in this uh, in this race. So we uh, we can go for it. Okay, thank you. See you soon, mate. I'm sorry to leave you. Don't apologize. Recovery roll, man. Thank you, man. Best of luck. Matt. Thank you. Yeah, my day was pretty good and until it wasn't. Um, yeah, now was now was Roman now. Unfortunately, it was um, yeah we had to, we we're sort of shifting to going for stage results. Um, and yeah, today, today was going to be a good opportunity for the break. Um, so we, yeah, we wanted at least one of us in there, and um, I made sort of a there was a pretty big group up the road, and I made a bit of a. <laughs> what is that? What a noise. Yeah, I made a bit of a, a last last ditch attack to to get in there and yeah, I managed to get across and um yeah then it was a massive group. I think there was like thirty five guys or something, so yeah, then just one one hairpin corner I um yeah my I just lost my front wheel. Um and hit the deck, and that was that was my day done. Unfortunately, I'll live to fight another day. I might just be might be stiff for a few days, but luckily we have a, a rest day tomorrow, so I'll be able to take it easy. Ladies, gentlemen, riders, staff. Um, obviously, he was sitting here now after two weeks of racing still with one week to go. I think uh, obviously yesterday was a pretty hard day for us all uh, with Roman, I know even more so for himself. Um, but I think if we can still sit here and okay we might not have the results that we've all wanted or what we probably are able to, to achieve um, but it's definitely not been from a lack of trying. Um, I think not only on the bike, but I think away from the bike, the the work that everyone's been putting in through the staff, the riders, um, is second to none. And it's something that us as us as riders, we know 
it's a lot of work for you guys, but you've always been there and gone over and above, and that's something that's really, really special and something that we all talk about. Um, but I think the most important thing that we we can sit here and say is like the environment that we are working in at the moment is something that's really special. I think not only as the staffs group, but also the riders group, and also both together as, as one team is something that is really special. And I think it's it's definitely something that I've really enjoyed being a part of. And so it's let's all drink to the week that the two weeks we've had, and that's obviously. We've got a week to go, but I think more importantly, it's where we're going up. Um, and thanks for one little bit for making me feel so so at home so fast. I've really enjoyed uh, the six months that I've been here so far. So, Aww. Aww. cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Cheers.